Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to City Skylines. There we go, now you can see it. <laughs> In the previous episode, oh, someone's running out of water. Wait a minute. In the previous episode, there you go, we built this new district on top of the hill. It's kind of nice actually. Yeah, that village on top of the hill. And then we connected it to the existing districts via cable cars. Now I've got then a couple of recommendations from you since then. Thank you for all the comments and the suggestions. Kind of nice, I really like this series. Pretty chill. Don't really need to rush anything and don't need to... Uh, no pressure, so to speak. Just enjoy and have fun and uh, build as we go. Yeah, so in this episode, we'll be building more on this district. I'm hoping to connect these houses to uh, the industrial area here, more or less. Oh man, look at all that. All those demolished buildings, yeah, we definitely need people there. But I also want to improve some of the roads here, like this one. I had an idea here. We'll do that in this episode, don't worry about that. So let's take it one step at a time. First things first, I think we can build more houses in here. You can see uh, the, the high residential areas that I put up are actually being filled already. As fast as that. So we can do something like this expand up to that area and water let me just check yep it's good let's just cover that up should be nice can you can you maybe extend here somewhere like that you could probably do it we could probably do it yeah just for the sake of completeness let's do that and i will have to change some roads later because i'm planning to put in some buses and with buses, we need these, uh, where was it, two-lane road with bicycle lanes because the bike lanes act as bus lanes. But let's do that later. Let's fill everything up with the trees first and then we'll adjust later and uh, modify some of the, the roads to be the, the bus lanes, quote-unquote bus lanes. That works. Hmm, how can we do this? Can we just do and connect you like that hmm. let's see and then maybe just close it off like so connect it like that and it's kind of a big area isn't it maybe we can put a park there would be nice because these people are all pretty sad I would have liked that one it's too big though too big but maybe we can if we delete that and then we put this where was it um that thing no it doesn't work all right let's just put this thing then what? it's look too steep okay so apparently it's not friendly for parks oh we can put it there and yeah, let's do that all right at least there's a park somewhere nearby and then we can continue and build on that road again. Like so. Fill up those areas with uh, high density residential. Yeah, so a bit of space here in the middle. That should be fine. And maybe some trees just to hide them off from this place. Trees would be... Can I do something like brushes? Yeah, just fill that up. Random trees up there. And bushes. These are the big ones, I think. I don't like that. Yeah, just fill that with trees. There you go. It looks pretty... It looks too uniform, though. <laughs> I think the strength needed to come off a little. Let's remove that again. That's too strong, isn't it? Maybe, it's the, si maybe the size is too big. It's lessening the strength. Does that work? <clears throat> yeah, I think it does. Yeah, that's what I want. Don't fill up the, all the place up. Just randomize it. So I can fill the place with different trees. And sorry for the, <clears throat> sorry for the voice, guys. I'm not sure it's acting up. It must be all the recording I'm doing. Hopefully it doesn't it, it recover soon. But yeah, it, it, I'm going to be sounding a bit husky. 
in the meantime. Okay, maybe we need to increase that. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's good enough. So at least from here, you don't actually see all the houses directly. You have to go through like a forest stuff to get to them. Can we put those trees, the Sumongus trees in? Why not? All right, good. Remove that, we remove that. Why is there like a lone tree in there? Remove that. Place trees in here. Nice. Cool. Right, that at least acts like a filter. Alright, we have no need for residential now. Look at that. We have a huge need for commercial though. So we can probably extend this bit and make it circle around. Like, just go five units there. Hmm. Make it square. Ten units. Let me see. Maybe I can connect here. 135 degrees. There you go. <clears throat> can I... Can I close it off here? Yeah, let's do that. Just so it looks more organized and it doesn't like just end out of any on air uh, words. Okay, high density. Fill that up. We can also have offices here, but... I guess it wouldn't fit that much because this place is pretty uneducated. Yeah, like you can see the education here. Maybe we can add some schools then. But if we add schools, then this place will not have any workers. How do we level these up? Educate more citizens. Interesting. Make sure your education facilities can handle all potential students. Alright, so that's the way to upgrade it. I didn't know that. Hmm. Right. So maybe let's put some schools in here as well. Maybe here in the there that that could work. Or maybe somewhere here near the house. Yeah, that wouldn't be nice. Like a high school somewhere off there would seem pretty off though. Maybe something this this doesn't work. That one can. That one surely can. Okay, let's do that. Let's have one there. Let's have one here. And that will be a major bus route. So that means we'll need a road from here as well. Coming from this place, connecting to the residential area like that. And we'll have to turn off the traffic lights because I hate them. There you go. Water, yes. I kind of realized it last minute. Happy? Hmm. Not too much of a fan of this song. One sec. Let me see where that is. This one. Let me remove that. Extract, please. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Yeah, a bit more suspense there. Alright, let's extend this space. That looks good. We do have a lot of money, so that's not a problem at all. Um, we don't have a university here. Do we need it? I don't think we do. Yeah, we have so much. They can travel far away if they need to. Can we have a metro there? I guess the metro wouldn't fit so much because it's too uphill. It would be too steep for a train. Alright, so let's keep that. Oh, I, I do like this grid system like right here. I should definitely make a, a district that's completely perfectly grid-like. I know some of the people would enjoy that. Because it looks so organized that way. Especially with European buildings. It just fits to have super square and super flat surfaces. Actually fits better than these diagonal lines, don't they? Yeah. Alright. Anyway. Let's get some buses in. So let's get the depot in here. Of course, I will pick buses because I am so hooked with OMSI right now let's put a bus depot over here um, it's gonna be noisy there and let's place a terminal can we do that a bus station right here that would destroy a lot of buildings though how about there doesn't fit that one fits that one doesn't or it does it does it hmm can we? 
If we can, I'll push for that. No, we can't. Alright, that's an X. This one works though. This one definitely works. Let me see. Let's do it. Sorry guys. But I really need space. Because I think this is gonna be a main interchange. Like, connecting the buses to this place, to the cable cars, is going to be pretty efficient. And uh, the buses here can directly go, come from this street, Young Street, exit. Yeah, that works. Alright, so let's start from here. Let's make it clear. Uh, there is the start. They can actually exit through that place, huh? That doesn't look, that doesn't look too nice. It's one of those derpy exits again. Let's leave it though. Alright, so... Let's see how this works. Um, it would be nice. Alright, so we start off here. We... Alright, let's do this. Let's start off... Let me think... Here. Going around this village, maybe? Something like that. Okay, so let's stop over here. You cross the place. You go around. In the middle, maybe, would work. So it reaches everybody, yeah? And then one more here. Could do the trick. And then go around. Basically going around that place. That should work. And the people from here, they can just walk a bit. I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. And then from here, we stop at the schools. That's perfect stop right there. That gives us access to elementary and high schools. That gives the kids yeah, access to it directly. And then, one more stop over here, I would say. Hmm. Do we need to? Maybe we don't need it, huh? Maybe we don't need it. I'm thinking of actually going around now. Alright, let's 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 modify that. Let me close this off first. So once we stop there, let's stop one more time in here and then close it off. Yeah? But in the beginning, I actually wanted to go around in this district as well. I think that would be perfect. So stopping there and then stopping here should work. Seems a bit too close, but I think that works. And then we instead... Wait a minute. We move this stop. We move it here. So it comes from the north entrance now to the village. To the town. It stops here in the middle. Ah, that one works. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So it goes around. And those houses here, they can either... Um, let's move that stop. So the house is here. And let's add one more there. Yeah? So the houses here can ride on that bus stop. The houses from here can go to that bus stop. Or they can also go here depending on where they want to go. And it more or less encompasses the entire district. It doesn't cover everything, but it, I think everything else is walking distance. Yeah? I guess we need one more line. Just going the opposite way. Hmm. This is only going one way though. If I make it here, will it be the same? Yeah, it will be the same. Oh, the green line. Okay, that's that's good. All right, maybe we go an opposite the opposite direction here. We stop over there. We go around a bit just so we can reach everything yeah maybe that works there we stop here again and then circle back uh, I guess we stop somewhere where? here yeah here would be nice and then we can also stop at the schools just so it's consistent and then go and just trace back the exact route from the opposite line so, th so that we have both directions covered. Yes, does it make sense? Okay, 
But this time, from here, you can add an exit there, a stop. Doesn't really matter that much, but maybe we'll put some buildings later on. And then complete the line. Yeah, so it's a bit different, but mostly the same. Same effect, at least. Yeah, hopefully the, the depot gets some buses. And look at all the people in there. Perfect, right? Perfect. And I like how this game is actually very... Uh, very optimized and very, uh, I don't know, so super user-friendly. You could put it that way. Because once you put in the bus stops, the people immediately take effect. Like, the game does its calculations in the background and you don't even feel it. And then suddenly your lines are going to be used already. It's just amazing how that works. There goes the buses. Oh, there goes the Scania, there goes the Scania trucks. Scania buses. Yep, definitely. Let's take a look at them. Wow, but traffic here. Oh, and yes. So now we have to upgrade the roads. So I have to see first, this is the two-lane road with bicycle lanes. We have to track and trace that one. All right, let's start from the school. Actually, no, let's start from the depot. So this entire bit needs to be uh, the one with optimized bus lanes. So that one for sure. Yeah, hopefully the game is smart enough to recognize the new paths after I praised it and everything. Okay, that covers that part. We also need this part. Okay. Wrong, the, wrong one. Alright, so that one covers everything there. We also need this bit. That one and this entire thing. Connecting this, so that gives us dedicated bus lanes, or bike lanes for that matter. And it, it's a good coincidence that, like an added bonus, that uh, people can also cycle because we have cycling lanes there. I would imagine the bus drivers wouldn't be too happy with the cyclists, so sharing a line with the cyclists. Because uh, cyclists are one of their quote-unquote worst enemies, <laughs> popping out of nowhere, having needing to look in all directions. What's happening there? Why can't I change that? Achievement unlock. Clark Cable? What does that do? Oh, it's, I guess it's a, an achievement for the cable cars. Maybe just transport this number of uh, people. Okay, that doesn't work. Why not? Okay, that works, but that doesn't. So maybe we need to terraform this a bit. Uh, terraform it a bit, maybe... Super weak, bigger one, bigger brush, yeah, super weak. So you copy that elevation, you, whoa, heighten it up. Didn't I say super weak? All right, we'll need to uh, level that out slowly again. Like that, maybe? Hopefully that works, that's enough. What the heck, look at this. There's like a hill here. Let's level that off as well. There, so it's not that dramatic. And there's a smoothen tool, right? Soften terrain. Yeah, that's the one. Just like in Transport Fever, so it's not that dramatic, uh, drastic change. Right? Oh, come on. Oh, there. Why not? Why not? Because of that uh, bump, probably. Let's smoothen that out. Uh, go and there. And then let's smoothen it. Something like this. Does that work for us? I'm not sure. Probably not. Yep, probably not. But it's close though, it's close. Maybe we can just delete it, huh? And then we can just make it from scratch. Delete that as well. There you go. There you go. And this one I think can be the one with trees. Right, so if you trace the bus lines, yeah, it, it, hasn't me, it hasn't figured out yet what to, which new line to take. Because we deleted the road. 
So the bus lanes, let's unpause the game and let it figure out on its own. Should it be just straight ahead? Alright, straight ahead and then turning left at the corner at the end. So we do that. Yeah, sad people, that's fine. So for your own good, and that. And that should cover everything. Yes? Yes. And this bit, this road here, should have a, should be a four-lane road with bus lanes. Yep, that works. That one, that one, that one, and that one. That entire stretch there. I don't want anybody parked here, actually. That doesn't look nice. Don't want parking there and there. There maybe you can park because that's a dead end. I don't want people parked here. And I don't want people parked there. Good? Clear? Clear. Alright. That looks pretty. Awesome. Bit bumpy though. Yeah, but having dedicated bus lanes, that's perfect. So now if you look at the buses, uh, let's have a look at one of the buses. Let's try and find one. Hello? Bus? There you go. So dedicated buses. Normal cars using the inside lane, buses using the outside lane. Yeah, or at least they're sharing the line, but when it comes to the stops, they're using the green line for the stops there, so they don't actually block the other cars. Yeah, that works. Why do we have both? Did I do something wrong? Why, why do we have both of these in the same direction? Like, the green line should be going the opposite way. Why is it stopping there? What the heck? Like, I don't know, maybe that's just a bug. Like, this bus, why is it going through there? Okay, it's going through. I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. So I didn't do that, I did this, right? So if I remove you, and then I add you again, will you realize what's the right thing to do now? Beautiful Scania buses. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Now it completely disregarded the stop. Alright, maybe it will fix itself. Maybe it will fix itself. Let's see later if it normalizes. Okay, let's have a look at the people in here. Hey, where are all the people? Hmm. I thought it would have been used more. Ooh, look at that. Lots of cyclists using the road. Pretty eco-friendly. But they're crossing like there's no tomorrow here. Just like Shinjuku. Like Shinjuku Road or no no Shibuya Road, yeah. I always get confused with those roads in Japan. Where you, where the actual crossing is diagonal. It's a very interesting concept. Alright. We're we getting more people. Three people. And that route is not the friendliest one. I must admit. <laughs> anyway, let's leave that be. Alright, we have the bus lanes, that's good. We have a problem with trash, that's fine. I think we can need a separate recycling zone here. So just a small one would be fine. Uh, now it produces noise, so we'll have to uh, do it a bit off, away from the center of, away from the residential area. Maybe that works. Ideally, I didn't want it to be in the main road. Maybe we could make uh, an offshoot road somewhere. Wait, let me see. Everything's filled with roads now, though. Hmm. What I could do is extend this. Like, I need to buy this anyway. Because I need to... Uh, no, I don't really need to buy it. I need to buy this one instead. Because I'm planning to make the highway later on. Yeah, so I don't really need to buy that. So let's just work with what we have. Hmm. Alright. What I can do is connect these. Oh yeah, I can do that. Definitely. So I can connect this road. Where? This road. Make a windy road here. And end up somewhere in the commercial area. Yeah, we'll have to destroy a building or something, but... It's gonna look really good. Alright, let's, let's try that. Let's try that. Now, it, it 
it needs to be a normal road. Maybe we can make a, a national highway type of thing. <clears throat> Since we don't need to build anything there anyway. National road, yeah, that works. Let's make it uh, really windy. Hmm, maybe I can connect to that place, yeah. Look at that, we can just do it straight. But it won't be exciting, would it? Yeah, wouldn't be exciting at all. Try that. Oh, so too steep. Oh, there we go. That one works. Wow, that's actually building a tunnel. <laughs> because of how steep that is. Yeah, it, this is gonna be treacherous. This is gonna be exciting. Like, I would love to drive there. Or maybe not. Probably wouldn't be good for the people coming with me. Alright, that one works. Okay, and we connect there, huh? Yeah, but we probably have to loop it up a bit. Come on, work with me here. Can you connect there instead? Let's have a look at this current road system. Okay, that one is doing pretty fine. That looks pretty treacherous to me. Wow. And this will be used by garbage trucks. Actually, not only garbage trucks, other people can use it as well. But this will be mainly for their benefit. Hmm, how can I do that? I can just connect it like that and it would make a bridge. A super derpy looking bridge. I don't like the look of that actually. Maybe we can tweak it a bit. Maybe we can use the move it tool. Raise that up a bit, just so it doesn't... The, the the bridge doesn't look too derpy. Oh, look at that. Cars are actually making use of it already. Alright. Yeah. That kind of works. It's not too bad. Zigzaggy line. Right. Now I'm actually doubting if I need... If I should connect it here. Because, um... Hmm. Not really sure if I should do that because this is going to be used by other people now. And we don't want them using this bit here because this is mainly for the service vehicles, the garbage trucks. Maybe we just make this two way so that we let them pass here. Just go straight through. Uh, just a simple one. Make it two way and two way so they don't have to go around it, which looks it really ugly. Okay, it's cool. So garbage trucks should have access to that place now. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be big trouble. All right, at least we managed it. At least we managed it. Okay, so that should connect the garbage trucks to this district. Uh, we do have a dead pe person already. That's, that was quick. Do we have access to crematorium? No, not yet. But almost there. Yeah, just a little bit more. Cemetery usage is increasing bit by bit, but we still have a couple of uh, room. So I think we can just stick through it and uh, plow on through. Look at the demand for the residential, guys. What happened to it? It's back again. I'm running out of space again here. Man. Yeah, we need to extend this a bit more here. Yeah, you can look this place. We can extend this because the land actually goes up to that point. So we can probably do something like... Uh, like that. Extend it a bit. And do something like that. Go back. It's not too steep, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I would have loved to do that, but it doesn't work. Okay, we can just go straight here then. Yeah, I think that that's okay. That's okay. So at least we have just one more wing there. And then we can probably connect this as well. Just for more residential areas, like so. And then we can also build on the bridge, uh, the borders like this. 
That can also work. Since we won't build anything there anymore. Yes. Water. Uh, not covering everything. Happy? Good. Good. Right. We need more residential areas. Uh, commercial, rather. So let's build something here. Wait, 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 wait. That might be too near the houses. Ah, uh, you know what? I think it, that's fine. They're across the street anyway. Across the big street. If someone complains, we just need a hospital or something. Speaking of hospital, we don't have any services in here. We definitely need that, so let's put some in here. Yeah, let's put one a firehouse here. Uh, clinic here. And a police thingy. Police station right here. Yes, everybody happy and everybody just leveled up and dinged. Perfect. That's awesome. Nice, alright. It's good. So while that's uh, settling out and building stuff there, you can see the number of people here, complaining people. I think it got reduced a bit, although there are still a lot of problems. Oh, and look at our Y interchange here. Looks very good, huh? I got this from the Steam Workshop. It should be in the collection if you want to download it. Looks pretty fancy. Works pretty well as well. Anyway, what I wanted to do was this one. So look at this. The National Road, look at this guy, this car. When he is blending into the roundabout, that looks pretty awkward. Look, look at how, how sharp that is. Like, that's more than 90 degree turn. And that shouldn't happen in real life. So what we'll do is we'll actually... Uh, how do we do this again? I'll delete that. I'll make this two-way. I'll make this split. So I'll make a, a ramp. Not really a ramp, but I'll make a... A connection like so. And a connection like... Hmm, like that should be... Should be the case. Might be too sharp though. Ideally, okay, what we do is we maybe we start off this way. So going straight, we go that route, and going here, we do that thing. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that shape. Let's do it another way. Let me take the ramp. Where's the ramp? Highway ramp. Okay. From you, we set out at a, I don't know, 45 degree angle, just because we can. Connect it like so. And then this other end, we... That's 45 degrees. That way. Yeah, I think that works. So we can say, from here, go straight. It's actually merging so far away though. It doesn't look natural. I think this is one of the limitations of the game. It's not too friendly when it comes to actual road networks. So you can do something like that, but it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look pro. We can smoothen that out, I guess. Hmm. Doesn't work, does it? Like, look at that. That absolutely wrecked the, the roundabout there. Let's raise this instead. Okay. Let's build that. So I want to make this like a, a V-shaped uh, exit. So it doesn't look derpy. Maybe we extend this a bit more. Don't know. I think that would produce the same problem. Honestly. So if we do this 45 degrees, branch out like so, and we do this. Yeah, that's a bit too sharp. I guess that's the best I can do. And then I can just lower that manually. Like this or raise that actually. 
like that there it works better it works a lot better oops the van actually just melted into the ground yeah let's go straight like so looks good so now we don't have to derp it up so they can enter from there and then they exit they exit on the other side which is a lot more friendly in terms of uh, of the angle there we go crematorium has been unlocked perfect now what i want to do is actually get rid of that cemetery you remember that cemetery in the original district where was it here that's uh, what 1698 over 3000 we can start cleaning up that place now this you can say put something here oh that would have been perfect look at that man all right let's have a crematorium over here instead <clears throat> Should be fine and you go empty yourself that is able to uh, store 105 do we need more than one of those i i would i would assume we do yeah because this is a thousand six hundred that can store 105 i'm not sure how fast it cremates the people though but we'll see We'll see how it works. And when we have problems later, let's probably put a couple of uh, crematoriums. Let's put one there. Let's put one here. Yeah, you can see there's there's actually a dead person in there. Do they do they like it when you put the crematorium next to them? Not really sure. We can probably put something. Hmm. Where do you place that, guys? You can place that easily here. <clears throat> but I guess it, it wouldn't fit that much, huh? Maybe in here. Yeah, that could work. There. Yeah, they, they get happy when you place crematoriums next to them. Interesting. I wouldn't be happy with that. Having a crematorium right outside my house? I don't know. Whatever floats her boat. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put one hmm, right here. Yeah, why not? Everybody happy. Good. Look at all the pollution there. Oh, look at the traffic here. What the heck? Ooh. So that seemed to cause a lot of ruckus. Because everyone wants to go left. Yeah. What if we make a coach there? Yeah, we can make a coach. A coach that goes from the terminal and then <clears throat> it crosses over and stops here and then uh, drops off to the bus line here. Although that would be a bit... Oh, look at all the people. <laughs> that would be a bit contradictory to this cable car. By the way, some you guys commented that I should make a parking lot here. Do we do that again? That one. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Awesome suggestion, guys. Awesome suggestion. Looks so pro now. Standard parking garage. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Traffic. Alright, so people need, need to get here. But I don't think I want to allow... Whoa, boss. Problem with power. Okay, I think it's time. We did unlock something, supposedly. Not really, that's 22,000. We can add another oil power plant just to satisfy our, our power needs. Or we can build more of these incinerators. Incineration status is good though. Yeah, you look at that. 210,000 garbage production. The capacity of incinerators is 540,000, so we don't really need that. If we, even if we build more incinerators, that probably wouldn't produce more energy. So let's instead make one of these. Hmm, where can we place it? For sure somewhere here in the district. Maybe just... 
maybe here. Yeah, and just let's, let's just make a road here so it doesn't look that bad. The normal road there. And pause the game. It's a bit too big. What? Everyone's still complaining? Do you have enough power now? Okay, there you go. That should get you fixed. There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. So it doesn't look out of too out of place. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that that shape is actually kind of weird, isn't it? I just noticed it now. Anyway, so this is looking pretty fine. And sorry guys, it's a bit dark because of the rain. But yeah, what I wanted to do was something in here. Yeah, I remember, okay. Yeah, we have to fix this. Look at that. Causing mayhem in here. No, that's not gonna work. We leave this, we, we remove private vehicles from here. Vehicle restrictions. Uh, you ban the private cars. You allow taxis, public transport basically. Taxis also not. The delivery vans we do not allow as well. So only the emergency, the garbage, and the buses we allow. Yeah, so it won't get us populated. Yeah, that should help decongest the place. And if they need to go around, they would need to go all the way around here in the roundabout and maybe exit and, and go via the industry. So it's gonna be a long way. But ideally, they should just take the cable car here. They need to connect 780 passengers at that. Yeah. So they should just use it. And then from here, they get connected to everywhere else. That should work. And that traffic should disappear soon. Wait a minute, did anyone have a, a tram there? Oh, the tram was here. In here, we don't have anything. Hmm, which makes me think. Which makes me think a bus would look really nice there. Yeah, let's go and do that. So let's add one bus here, actually a coach. Stopping on this terminal, and then it would go all the way here. And stop, um, do we need to stop at the incineration? <laughs> Maybe not. But let's do it. Let's do it. Just in case someone works here or something, yeah? And then here, we stop as well in these houses. Or in that place at least. And then we stop there. And then we just go around basically. Go through this small road and not even sure if it can fit there. Just to go around. And stop there stop here go around the place and go back stop there and hmm maybe we can stop there as well it's a shame it would be a shame not to oh it can't do it all right it has to go through uh, the entire place then stop here instead stop uh, there and Go around and stop, complete the line. Yes. And on the way, first stop from the terminal, from the bus station. You stop as well somewhere. Not you, not you. I need a purple line. Oh man. Hide everything except that newest line. And uh, you stop there, right before you turn. Okay. So that should add a coach type thing that connects this district. Let's look at the purple line. Or is that purple? It's not even purple, huh? It's like pink. Neon pink. My bad. Alright, so it goes through here, it goes through that zigzag route. Oh man, I wouldn't be uh I wouldn't want to drive here with all those coaches eating up the lanes in here. Oh man, if you if you watch my trucking videos, you know what? They, they're my heatest thing <laughs> all right yeah so that 
kind of works there so people can stop here look there are actually people waiting so it kind of works okay and they can stop there they can go here they can drop off here and then connect elsewhere if they need to yeah and it's basically up to them where they want to go so that connects them wherever nice cool and it's still traffic um, but I hope that goes away soon because all of these most of these are private vehicles and uh, delivery vans we do have some garbage trucks but I think that should be manageable okay yeah these guys they'll be going away soon because there there will be no reason for them to use this anymore this is only for services and uh, public transport and emergency vehicles like that so it's it's getting followed that's the good thing like this guy this bendy bus this bendy scania bus look at that 130 passengers fell to the brim let's have a look at the terminal and the, this next bus 12 okay maybe everyone just went there <laughs> okay that's cool that's cool these are awesome buses in here I hope we could remove the default buses so we can at least focus on the focus on the Scania ones look at that man that's ugly hmm I might need to do something there like make a direct route skipping this entire place from here maybe like from here going straight through there can we do that can we have a connection like a national road which would extend from here to that place so something like that does it work like that like that Some kind of intersection in here maybe a roundabout would be nice but i guess it should be fine and wait if we do that should we limit again the vehicles in there let's do that to be safe although technically the private vehicles shouldn't use this because they'll end up in the dead end because they're not allowed in umber road yeah but let's do it anyway for consistency so no private vehicles no taxis no delivery vans and the other way as well okay good and the rain has stopped perfect thank you just as we're about to end the episode right anyway so at least now there is a an alternate route they can go wherever they need like a shortcut and we need a uh, another ramp here just for easy exiting Hmm, that's not looking good at all. Hmm. It's a bit tricky to do this in this game, huh? Because I want something that bends that way, that flows from here. It curves like that. Like that. But the game actually does it so awkwardly. It's weird that way yeah I want that perfect yes all right awesome okay let's do that so if they need to go actually that's a bit too sharp isn't it yeah that's a bit too sharp needs to be somewhere here might even need to be a bit more like in here yeah look at that see I wanted to curve inner inwards Maybe we need to do it two steps. Like, branch off right there and curve up like that. There you go. That works for me. That works for me. Okay. Didn't make things much better, actually, but... Wow. Let me... <laughs> Let me adjust this a bit. Uh, that one 
No, actually, that one is what I need to adjust. Lower it down a bit. This one raise a little. No, actually, it can't do that. Lower this down a bit, maybe. Yeah, so it's not that dramatic. There you go. And this one... How do we, how do we raise this? Okay, that kind of works. Makes it too steep for this one, though. Alright. I'm gonna do that. They're still not using it. Or, okay, they're using it now. They're using it now. Some of them are. Hmm. Let's make this one way. Yes. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, th that, that looks better. That looks better. Kindish. Right? No more traffic. Look at that. Yeah? That worked. That worked wonders. Alright, I still wanted to do the, the V thing here, here as well. So let's probably do that and then I'll I'll leave you guys to uh, for the next episode, right? So extend that. And then in here. Let's start from here. <clears throat> um, five degrees, can we do? Ten degrees. It's too sharp. Let me just bends insanely like so look at that why would you do that in the road okay let's go 10 10 degrees oh that works that kind of works make it as gradual as possible like that but we delete this because I want to make this even more there even more uh, gradual like that oh man seriously you want to bend like that okay maybe we can do it like in here One sec, huh? Yeah, that that can work like this. Make it gradual. Like so I actually deleted the one I did a while ago. Crap. Start from here. Oh that one. Yeah, that works. Hmm. I hate it. I hate it, guys. <sighs> okay, we can do this. Focus. Start again. Let's do that thing again. Maybe 15 degrees? Doesn't really follow the angle I set, does it? That way. And then we branch off like here. Like that. Something like that, maybe. Then make it gradual. Yeah? Raise that up a bit. Deepest roundabout ever. Maybe we can lower that as well. Make it look nice. Yeah, that that's that's nice. That's nice. Makes it more uniform. Much much more uniform. Flying cars. There you go. Circling around. There you go. Sorry guys. You'll have to uh, do some kind of U-turn. Uh, what is that? Let's put a tree there. Hide the ugliness. Not you. Okay, fine. I can't even put anything there. Alright. Alright, stay there then. <laughs> Suit yourself. 
Alright, that works. That works really nice. Uh huh. Cool. Right, that works. I like it. I like it. We don't have any complaints in here. That's good. No traffic that I see. Yeah, I don't really see much traffic. People are using the buses. Yeah, 130 of them. People are using the cable cars. Yep, 510. Uh, there's a lot of fires though. Hopefully they get there in time. And if you look at the problem, only one building has not enough workers. That's awesome, finally. Right, so finally these guys are working hard. No level of info available. Needs to be covered by more services, alright? Why? Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Let's put a fire, uh, let's put a fire station in here because this is industrial zone after all. And we need as many, as many uh, fire trucks as we can. There you go, that's perfect. And let's also put the police station. There you go, all dinging now. The buses should cover a lot more, I think. But we'll, we'll worry about that later on. Let's start with this one, yeah? Works for me. Now they're leveling up. Dinging all around, perfect. That actually looks nice from here. Very wild. <laughs> yeah, look at this coach. It's not actually a coach, it should be. We should get one of those uh, MAN Lions coaches. Oh, look at that. It's actually staying inside its line, which is interesting. I wouldn't be able to do that if I was driving. Nice parking, guys. Nice parking. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's, let's leave it at that for now. They're really, they're really enjoying the services now. That's what was missing. That's what was missing. Let's see what level these guys are. Going to level two. It's perfect. Awesome. All right. Yes. Sorry for. Sorry, guys. It extended again. But thank you for staying. If you're still here, and uh, hope you liked the episode. We do have a bit of traffic in here, which is weird. Anyway. All right. I have to end this. Otherwise, I'll never stop. So thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thank you for watching and uh, you guys have a nice day. And of course, let me know what you think. Comments are always welcome. Especially the constructive ones. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.